Hey everybody, happy Thanksgiving to you. I wish you nothing but happiness and love with your family. Uh, hopefully you're getting together with everybody and having a great time this weekend. So what I'm getting at with this episode is, uh, well, if you're up north and in the snow, then too bad. You can't get outside and, and hammer some balls. But down here in the south, uh, I know if your family is anything like mine, we're going to want to get outside, especially tomorrow after uh, a long day of pigging out and watching football and, and living fat and happy. We're going to want to get outside and have some fun, maybe hit the driving range. So what I want to do is help you with those newcomers, those aunts, uncles, cousins who have hardly ever played golf before. I want to show you how to show them how to pound the ball down the middle. This is Golf Essentials with Casey Bork. Okay, beginners hitting the driver. There are a few things that they've got to do if they want to have any chance of hitting it out there in the air, hitting it far and reasonably straight. So I think these rules apply to beginners. They apply to tour players as well. So uh, first thing is to separate in your mind, separate sort of pre-swing stuff from in-swing stuff. And I, I like to maybe have just a, just a few bullet points for pre-swing and a maximum of one bullet point, super simple stuff for in-swing. You know, you don't want to be thinking about a bunch of stuff when you're swinging. So pre-swing with the driver. Most of you know that we want to move the ball forward in our stance, meaning if you draw a line from the ball to your feet, the ball is underneath your left shoulder, your left armpit, your inside your left foot, whatever comparison you like to visualize there. But it, it's not under your nose, it's forward in your stance. And the reason for this is we want to strike the ball with an upward blow. Um, we want to hit the ball as the club has just just after it's bottomed out and just starting to come back up on the upswing. Okay, so if we have it too far back in our stance, we're going to be driving the ball down into the ground, at least if we intend to give it a proper weight shift. Okay, so we've got that ball forward in our stance. Most people have heard that before. Um, but there are a couple of tendencies that happen when we move a ball away from the middle of our stance for people that don't play much golf, okay? So we want to move the ball forward, but what we don't want to do is shift our weight. So this is all pre-swing stuff. So the tendency is when we move the ball to the left, up towards our left foot, body weight tends to shift, right? Your hips and everything tend to shift onto your left leg um, because your, your body wants to be up where that ball is. But that sort of defeats the purpose of moving the ball forward. What we want to do is, as we move the ball forward, actually no matter where we put the ball in our stance, we want to keep, keep our body weight centered. So keep, keep your weight 50-50. So feet shoulder width apart, your body weight is 50-50, left leg, right leg. And you're going to feel like your head is well behind the ball. And this is what it's supposed to be, right? Uh, otherwise, we wouldn't move the ball around in our stance. Okay, so that's the first tendency. People tend to shift their weight to the left, and that, and that defeats the purpose. So if we're able to stay centered and behind the ball, now you can imagine that as the swing is happening, okay, the club is moving in an arc, and the club bottoms out just behind the ball, and we're able to hit the ball on an upward swing. Okay, so the second tendency that happens when we move the ball left and left side le up in our stance is that our shoulders tend to open. So if you can visualize that, imagine as the ball moves to the left, it's human nature to want to face the ball with your up with your upper body. So that means your sternum, your chest sort of turns a little bit facing the ball, which is now off our left side, and that opens up our shoulders. Meaning, if you draw a line across your shoulders, they're, it's pointed well out to the left of the target. Okay, That's a problem because that open shoulder circumstance usually leads to a swing path that's outside in and across the ball. So what we want to do, as the ball moves left and forward in our stance, we keep our body weight centered 
and we allow the left shoulder to rise up just a little bit, and, and largely because your left hand is sitting higher on the club than your right hand. So unless one of your arms is longer than your other, your left shoulder should be up a little bit higher than your right shoulder, but your, sho your shoulder should not swing open when we do this. So we still want to have a line drawn across our shoulders being parallel to the target line, okay? So we want square shoulders, body weight centered, and the big thing for beginners, so when you bring your cousins and your uncles out there to swat golf balls, everybody starting out has a bad grip. So take a look at them. If you've played any golf before, you can take a quick glance. When they hold the club, if their thumbs are directly on top of the shaft of the club, which most people will do uh, automatically, if the thumbs are on top of the shaft, have them just take the same grip but have them rotate their hands around the club so that the thumbs are more on the right hand side of the shaft as they're looking down, okay? So as you're looking at them, it's the, the, the thumbs are sort of behind the shaft relative to, um, relative to the target, okay? So you're asking them to just turn those hands a little bit because everybody starts out with a grip that's too weak or open-faced and they're just gonna slice the heck out of it. So that's the, those are our three pre-swing thoughts, okay? So we want to set up the, with the ball left, but that means we want to keep our weight centered. We want our shoulders to stay parallel, which means we're not swinging them open. We can allow that left shoulder to, to tilt up, but not outward and, and backward so that our, our chest is facing the ball. We, we want our chest to be perpendicular or parallel to the target line, okay? And, and then the third is our grip. So take a peek at the grip, make sure that it's not where the thumbs are directly on top of the shaft. The thumbs should be sort of turned over to the right hand side of the shaft as the player's looking at it. So there's our setup, they're ready to go. You could take a peek at some of my stuff online for a visual of how those shoulders and body lines should look. And so as far as in swing, this is what all you gotta tell them. Uh, keep it super simple. Once they're set up right, their chances of, of success have, have drastically gone up. So as far as in swing, I just want them to, I just want them to turn their back to the target and then finish with their belt buckle facing the target. I'm telling you, it's that simple. Don't, don't try to fix where the club's going or what their hands are doing or all that. Literally just have them turn their core with their back to the target and then belt buckle to the target. And as they, as they get going, you can, you can educate them a little bit on that finish position where, where their sort of right heel rolls off the ground, and that happens automatically. That right heel rolling off the ground is a result of a good body turn. It's not the cause of the body turn, it's the result of a good body turn, if, you make sense, if that makes sense to you. So as your body's turning, we just allow that right heel to roll up and we end up with a nice posted up finish on our left side. So hope all that helps guys. Just separate those thoughts, pre-swing, in-swing, three pre-swing checklist items, and then one in-swing check checklist items. And uh, I think you've got a real good chance of success and uh, hopefully nobody kills themselves out, out on the range there today. So have a great holiday guys and reach out. Um, my stuff is now available on a bunch of different podcast, um, podcast networks. Go ahead and subscribe, reach out to me, send me questions. I want to address stuff that you guys give a crap about. Um, I don't want to just, just talk into thin air and take guesses at, at what everybody's interested in. So this is a definitely a user guided program and, uh, I want to really have my ear to the ground and talk about stuff that you guys all care about. So have a great holiday and talk to you soon.